All right. Hello. Oh, something sounds funky. Why does the mic sound off? Is that because I have everything else too loud going on with my other music on here? Hang on. How about that? Can I hear it? Hello, hello. Something's not right. Stand by. I checked it a minute ago and it was working. And now it's not. Oh, troubleshooting. Uh, let's see what's going on. Sorry, bear with me. Hello, no, see. All right, we're getting something there. It's gone through, it looks like it's gone through on the feed. I just can't hear it. Which might mean. Please hold. Should be coming through there. Hello. What's going on? I swear it was working a minute ago, folks. I really don't know. It's like it's coming through there. Now what? There we go. Okay, I just you had to turn it off and on again. Okay, done. Also, let me just make sure. Hang on, pause music for a second. Okay, cool. Now we're going. <laughs> Bumpy start. Hello, everybody. Welcome to round two today. Should be a good one. I had a spam message sitting in my chat from like two hours ago, which is funny because I guess you can just type the chat whenever. Um, or at least bots can, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, so was messing around with Django earlier, got my head around it more than I ever have before just by kind of doing it, which isn't really a surprise for me, but like I kind of needed to do it without tutorial stuff. Like I just kind of needed to go through it and do it because the tutori tutorials I saw just didn't click for me. Um, hence the reason I'm going to write my own. Um, but what I also want to do is, oh, I closed it apparently. Uh, let's get the NASA assembler up here. New window. So this crashed. Uh, I'm actually just going to run it again and we'll see if rebooting it helped. I don't, that should not have. Um, but we're going to play with this a little bit too. So let me just make sure debug is set here. Yeah, so this thing was working and then it started crashing on some videos because I added a new set of videos in there. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, but I've added, there's a whole bunch of randomness that happens with this. But what I've done. is I've added, so there's an object that gets loaded here, the NAS assembler, and then it loads a config file, and in that config file, there's a debug flag. And so when I set that to true, it's gonna set a random seed to one, and basically what that does is whenever it's doing random stuff, it always does things in the same order. So I can run this, see where something dies, and then go try and dig into it from there. Um, and let me actually just make one other quick thing here. Uh, actually, you know what I should do? Let me do this. Uh, Change the title of the stream there for a second. So there's a couple places where this thing cleans up after itself. And it shouldn't be doing it because I think I've got...
Moving temp file. Oh, actually, that's why it didn't work. If debug. No, if not debug. I know, okay, look, I know you're not. It's a double negative thing. I know you can do that better. Expression can be simplified. Replace Boolean expression with not self debug. So if not, see the problem with that is it's harder to rationalize, right? So if debug is true, if it's not, that means it's false. And so if debug is false, you can delete this stuff. And actually, let me put this under here too. Whoa. What just jumped? Something just happened. See, these are the two. It's a temporary file and then a transitions file, which is a JSON construction file that gets set up. And so I want those to exist. Duration for clip. Why is that yellow? Yeah, maybe static. I don't, still don't know what that means. All right. Yeah, I started this project and it was kind of, I was doing pretty good about like testing and configuration and all the other stuff, but then it got a little more sideways. But all right, we're gonna just gonna run this and let it go. That's going to slow down the machine dramatically because it's doing all kinds of video splitting and compression and all that jazz. Um, but we'll see how that goes for a second. So the other thing I was messing with was um, Django. And I've got a bunch of Django things open right now. Um, it's all these. I don't know what all that stuff up there was. It's kind of weird. Or that. Oh, this is it. Uh, so, what is this one? Is I trying to run the server twice? Yeah, it was. There we go. Um, let's just clear that and start over. There we go. And I know you can run this inside PyCharm, but I kind of like it separate right now. So this is dev, Django, scratch pads, one. And so Python run server. So what I want to do is um move this all the way over. There. I can close this one. It's fine. So what I want to do is we're gonna make a link to the admin page on the home page. I'm just trying to figure out how to use Django. And so what I actually like all the tutorials that I've seen, like start with all the website stuff, but I'm just doing the models and the classes and using the admin site, which is already built in to get stuff working. Um, which once I kind of got my head around that, it's like, oh, I can actually see what's going on here. Um, href equals whoops there we go admin um so artists miles davis coltrane so actions lead Argus add artist, right? Songs, Birth of Cool has an artist. So what I want to see is on the artist page, can I see all of the songs for that artist? Uh, 
leave that open. Django. Basic process. So this was going through and getting everything set up. Create models. All right, so this was where we make the artists. Make the song. But the song we actually had, where is the models for the songs? Models for songs. This is what ties it, ties it to the artist. Um, so now what I want to try and see is like a catalog for the artists songs again like I, I really only need one thing here right that's one of the other things with tutorials is like they do a whole bunch of stuff but it's like this is not bad at all I was gonna say and like so also I'm gonna do producers or whatever even though I don't know who the producers are or whatever in this but um Actually, this will be, yeah, this will actually be an interesting thing to do because I can do, oh, you can do albums, but I don't want to get too complicated because a song could be on an album. A song could be on multiple albums is a trick, right? Um, I may actually try and do that as a thing later as get like a actual build it up in general, but this is, uh, this is where we're going to start. So... All right, I don't want to go into the Python, the Django CLI, but I think I'm going to have to go into the Django CLI. Django CLI. And this is the other thing, like the official thing like starts you in the CLI and it's like, that's not helpful. Oh, I guess it didn't. Never mind. Somewhere down here it does. Maybe I'm wrong. Check off. How do you get into... Manage shell. Okay. That's not really a thing. So, all right, let me look through my notes. So let's try from artists, ARTI, artist models, import artist. Is that gonna work? Huh. Artist objects. All. Sweet. Create on the database directly without doing anything. Creating an object directly without making a memory first. Okay, but how, so how do we see... Uh, 
Django Cotton, 2016. Nice. So what I want to see is... The... Let's see. JC equals... Django, CLI, examples. I don't really want to write a custom Django command. I just want example commands. Basic example. Django query is uh, Python manage what time is it? It's now handling arguments. What is this doing? Django is a variety of command line tools that you can either work with that or with managed scripts. I think if I you could also use your own commands. Just for it started the second moment from myself with John Django's command line interface. Output. Yeah, cool. We can create our own commands for our apps. Oh, oh, okay. I gotcha. What time is it? Self stand out right. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's not what we need. It's funny, everything I saw a while ago would point me to command line apps or command line stuff and I can't find any of them. <clears throat> I think it was this book I just read, which eh. Management commands. Yep, no, that's not what we're looking for. Django add object from command line. Python manage shell. You can import your models, do basic crud on them. Objects all, yep. Tilly's Q. Oh, you could try the DB shell. Here's this command assumes the programs are on your path. So it's just a simple call to the program name. You'll find the program in our place. There's no way to specify the location of the program manually. Okay. Not helpful. Somewhat helpful. All right, let's do. Check the docs. That's for some version that's no longer supported. Great. Playing with the API. This is what we want. All right, so let's fix this first. Ah, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Uh, maybe I'll. Yeah, let's correct this. If we just do this to three. What happens? Three dot one, maybe. Is it still playing with the API? Same thing. Um, eh, okay, we won't worry about that. 
Oh, there it is. Playing with the API. It's right here. Is that also going? Do we show? Is that at this? So I just go into three one. Oops. Three one. Update to latest version of Django. We're not listening to the same music, by the way. My music's better. Only because they won't let me play copyrighted stuff over here. All right. Once you're in the shell, explore the database API. Okay, here we go. This may be where we're headed. Question, question text. How do you select? Creating objects, saving objects, saving foreign key and mini, retrieving objects. To retrieve objects, construct a query set via the manager remodel class. Query set, blah, blah, blah. Your query set by using models manager. Each Model has at least one manager and it's called objects for default. Access it via the model class, like so. So, for example, to get a query set of blog entries from the year 26, do that. With the false manager, that's the same as this. So entry objects filter. I don't know which one's better to do, but I don't care. Artists objects filter ID equals one. Thought it has a name. How do you just like dump? Does that work? Ooh, look at that. Nope. Query set object. Oh, that returns a query set. So we need to do JC zero. There we go. Name. Got it. Okay. Django 2020 CLI stuff. So we're just gonna make some notes. Query with with um artist one equals artist objects filter ID equals one. So, and then I 
that returns a query set. So you have to pick the first one. There's probably a way filter query sets are unique. Each time you find a query set, you get a brand new query set. There's no way bound to the previous query set. Each refinement creates a separate and distinct query set. That can be sorted and used. Okay, so this gets a query set and then These three query sets are separate. The first is a base query set containing all the entries. The second is a subset of the first. The third is a subset of the first. Okay. Query sets are lazy. Here we go. Retrieving a single object with get. Yeah, this is what we want to do. from artist models and then get a single uh, object from the database. No, oh, PK, we do, I'm, I am using PK. ID can conflict with some basic stuff. That didn't work. Artist. A1 equals artist, A1 name. Outputs. John Coltrane. All right. So A1 equals artist. Objects get PK equals one and then A one name John Coltrane. A one songs. What's that gonna do? Oh, oh whoops. Has no attribute songs. See, so I've got So we closed it. Dev, Django, scratch pads. Oh one, oh one. Python run server. So songs have an artist. But how do we look back to see what artists have, what songs an artist had? Django, C, reverse, foreign key. I have a venue. The venue has events happening in it. My model looks like this. Okay, cool. Lots of stuff. You can use events, venues, event set to go the other way. Note that venue event set is a manager object, like events op event objects. So you can call all filter exclude and get some of See Django, Django documentation. So I 
I would like to display all the events that are happening at a certain venue. How can I do that? My current view looks like this. So venue. Would be the same thing as the artist. So that would be A1. Generally related descriptors create reverse many. Related manager, uh, all. That's how you do it. Oh, uh, wait a minute. That's not right because songs, birth of cool. See, this is a one dot name. Is John Coltrane kind of cool? Oh, wait, wait, that's right. This should be here. Ah, no, take me back. Thank you. Kind of cool. Davis. Save. Okay, that is it. Okay, that's cool. Um, So let's just do this. A2 equals artist, objects, filter, PK equals 2, A2, song set, all. Uh oh. Object has attribute song set. What? A2 name. Preset has no. Oh, 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 I didn't do. Wait, I did something different. Filter, I need to do get. If you do. Filter, it responds, it returns. Great set. So now A2, song set, all. And then that's a query. So if we do zero dot name, oops, right. Aww. All, zero. Does that work? There you go. Name. Is 
song. You do that. Okay, so that's got that. Now how, okay, so that's, I at least know how that part of it works. Now we gotta figure out how to like wrap it back the other way and actually put it in here. Um, before we do that, let's go see what happened over on this. Oh, it fit, it worked. No, it didn't, okay. to do read the status return codes of FFmpeg concat and FF and FFmpeg to error out if there is a problem. Okay. Um, and you know what? I don't want to deal with that right now. I'd rather try and finish this because, like, this is going to be helpful. So, this is talking about. I think there's a bunch of good documentation. Their tutorial just isn't working for me. Customize the admin form. Fields, field sets. See, what I want to do is have so this is cool. If you go to a song, you get the artist, right? Cool. Um, if you go to an artist, I want to see their songs. Django admin show foreign key. Can I list display? Can I list display and Django's model admin display attributes of foreign key fields? There's another option you can do lookups like this. User admin, model admin. List display, get author, get author. Return object. Model's choice. Inlines, choice in line. And form the question field is a select text box. Django knows that a foreign key should be represented in the admin as a select box. Adding related objects, questions, choice. Okay, we have our question admin page, but a question has multiple choices, which is kind of the same relationship of an artist to songs. There are two ways to solve the problem. The first is to register choice with the admin, just as we did question. 
Now choices is available in the admin, and add choice form looks like this. Okay, yeah, so we already did that. Django knows that the foreign key. Okay, that's what we did with the song. They're just registered in admin. So artists, admin is registered, and then songs, admin is registered. Now choices are available and done. Eh. The add choice form looks like this, yep, okay. Also note that add another link to the next question. Every object foreign keys relationship gets us for free. So if I go to songs, add song, I can add an artist there if I want to. Add artist, got it. I have no idea what page I was just on. Nope. Is this it? I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Why don't you come over here where we can find you again? Really, it's an efficient way to add a choice. Maybe ever better if you could add a bunch of choices directly when you create a question object. Let's make that happen. And edit the question registered code to read this. Class. All right, so we're going to do this. So inside Oh, but how do you do this across modules. <sighs> I gotta solve for it. Like that's, I think how I want this to work. Well, I guess they're actually, so they kind of do everything inside a single module or it's not a single app. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I was thinking of apps really as the objects. But like, it's really. Um, start app. It's really. Music catalog. was a first run where you had artists and songs in their own apps. Looks like it's better to have them in a single app. There was one cross thing here that I did that's worth remembering, probably. 
Um, yeah, artists are artists for the foreign key. So there is a way to, to bounce across apps. So whatever. Um, Python, manage, pi, start app, paste, because we just got it. Running up a basic admin controlled music app, example music app. the super user if you haven't already create the app and then in configs gettings settings dot pi add music catalog to installed apps Go straight into making the models, right? Yeah. Do I want to use music for this? I don't. Up. So we're going to do movie database and then we're going to add movie database. Config settings. Movie database. Then we go to models. Make the movie model. These are classes, right? Class, movie. Models, model. Title equals models, char field, max length 255.
and then director models model name models Charfield max length 255 Director equals models foreign key. I think you just do director on delete. Models cascade. It's right here. <laughs> okay. It's funny. Uh, it finds it if you put it in that order. So what would be So how would you do a many to many relationship? Because one movie can have many actors, and many act, and one actor can be in many movies. Many, many. Use the many to many field. This example, an article can be published to multiple publications and a publication has multiple articles. Yes. The father's examples of operations that can be performed with Python. Use the Python API. Okay, look at this. article article publications add p1 you can't associate it with a publication until it's been saved okay well don't show that save it just a1 dot publications add p1 so article one publications add to p1 Article two, NASA uses Python, save, publications, add, P1 and P2, add and P3, okay. I think second time is okay. It will not duplicate the relation. Create and add a publication to an article in one step using create. New publication equals A to create, publications create, highlights for the children. Okay, that's super complicated. So 
So mini to mini, and you would put it, I guess it doesn't matter specifically which one you put it on. If they both have access to it. That's something that threw me a little bit is there's not a, you don't put anything in like the publications model there that would get you back to the articles model, model class, instance, object, thing. So actor wants two spaces there and two spaces there. I'm gonna put it here since this has the director too. And like directors, we should be able to go back and forth on. Okay, yeah, so this is a good setup. Actors. Many to many. We models stop many to many, right? Many to many. Actor. And it doesn't like that because it needs it wants it up here. It's actually alphabetical, so like I'm okay with those all this. That's it. This is so much simpler than all the tutorials I've seen. Uh, create that. Make the make the models in movie database models pi. Should just run the migrations, right? to the admin. Admin site register. Oh, so we need to do from models import actor director movie. Actor Director, directory, director. Come. Oh. oh, I see why it was ordering differently, because these were different apps. Movie database, actors, movies. So actors, I 
Tom Hanks. Uh, Gary Oldman. Gal Godot, whose name I don't know how to spell. What was that feature today? Why did that go? Green's Gambit. How about this? We'll just get. I'm just looking for some actors. Just give me some actors. Here we go. I've never watched this, but it's supposed to be really good. Add actor. All right, and let's do for pie charm under models. Def string self return name self dot name keep doing that thank you PyCharm for doing the highlights thought I had spaces there. Uh, so this is the Queen's Gambit. No, so we need a director. Who's here? Okay, so Alan Scott sounds like a great director. And now movies, add movie. Oh wait, it's actually all right there. GM Gambit. So director. So actually, if it's save, please correct below. So you gotta have. Okay, yeah. So you you can't have. Oh, many many. Look at that. And director Alan Scott. Save. There we go. Queen's Gambi. I misspelled it. Save. Yeah, so you gotta have a director and you gotta have at least an actor. That's cool. All right, now how do we get this to show up better? So like, I just wanna see if I can mess with the admin interface and have it do all this stuff so I don't have to build forms to do all these things. Like I don't need to have a end user form doing this. I can do everything through the admin. I mean, I can already do it right here, but like I would like to see if I can make it nicer and look better or whatever. Uh, so the first thing to do is grab this for the models. And then update. Movie database admin.py to that. That's the basics. Now we get to start messing with the admin stuff. So this has for question admin.
it's doing choices in line. That comes as you remove rows added using the other uh, buttons. And rows that have already been saved. All right, let's see how this works. So, so if I want to go So we've got the director. Django. Django, many to many, admin table. Nah, that's not what I'm looking for. Admin. Many many folders displayed on the admin with a select multiple. However, multiple select boxes can be difficult to use when selecting. Anyway, adding a many to many field to the list will instead use a nifty unobtrusive JavaScript filter interface. the list. The unselected and selected options appear in two boxes side by side. See filter vertical. Same as filter horizontal but uses the vertical. Is that what we had over here? I think it was tabular. Admin, tabular, inline. See, that's a different, different thing. Field sets. Field sets to control the group. List display, first name. List display to control which fields are displayed on the change list page of the admin page, okay. By default, many many is displayed in the admin site with a select multiple. However, multiple select boxes can be difficult How do we use it? Form, personal form, form, exclude name. Classes, fields. The field with tuple names, this key is required. Fields, advanced options, classes collapse, fields. Uh, 
I don't see how to use it yet. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is do this. For movie. And then you register that, right? Models choice, question, admin. Site, Redmond, register, register, question, question, admin. Yeah, okay, so. Movie, admin. Admin, movie, admin, fields, title. Let me just see if this works. Broke it. Media defining class. Object is not iterable. Okay. Just make sure we can make it work still. Was that something else that freaked it out? Whoops. No. Okay, I don't understand how that works then. Admin. Model admin, fields. Oh, maybe list display? Media defining class object is not interval. Okay, what is this? The first parameter to register is the model class itself. You have to use the same name for your model class as your admin class. Got it. Uh, error message for admin class. It's probably because you didn't name your classes the same. That is not good right now, but that's okay. I want to see if I can figure this out. So we need to do movie admin, movie, movie admin.
before you tried to do this. Instead of this. Note that they have to be named the same in the admin.py files. So let's see what that does. Start that back up. Movie is already registered in the app. Okay. Well, different error. Aha. Value list display must be list or tuple. Okay. Hey, it might be alive. So movies. Okay, so you don't. It doesn't put up both the movies and the movies admin. So like this, this becomes its own thing, which makes sense. So movies, you should just have the title, Queen's Gambit. And then here, oh. Is this where fields comes into play? Fields equals title. Got it. Take me to the river. I didn't have any caffeine today and I'm about fading right now. Oh, I am not showing the gif. Trying to think like example examples. So what else is in movies? Director and actors. Somewhere in this mess, we can not this is not a mess, this is not a mess at all. So, choice, fields, this is so gross. I can't read this at all. I mean, it's not, it's just the formatting sucks. Oh, well, part of the reason is because I did this. Field sets, none. Fields. Classes collapse. Inline's choice. But okay, so if we do. But see, I don't want choice. just by itself. Hmm. 
This is a slow one today. All right, so first things first. Let's see, figure out how to make that happen, right? So field sets. Choices in line. Choices in line. Models, choices. Choices in line. Okay, so this doesn't have to be registered. You can still have choice being its own thing. It was just pulling it from there. Okay, okay, okay. I think this makes sense now. So what we want is... actors in line model equals actor and then it had like choices three or something like that right extra equals three which I'm actually gonna say zero We'll leave both of those there for a minute. Let's remove this over one. That did not do anything. Oh, it's got to be in a list. Still didn't work. Movie admin, actors in line. Maybe I need three, three there. Oops, did not like that. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. Does it have to be up in the field? No? Maybe it's got to be outside of a field set. Actually, I'm just curious. What happens if we put this here? Just messing around at this point. Didn't blow up yet. Oops. There, it blew up. Okay. Okay, so let's try their thing here. Field sets equals a list. And it started with none. Which I mean, no title, I guess. Yes, I know. Both fields and field sets are specified. It's angry. I ah, sorry. Look at this thing, figure out what's going on. Field sets is a list, none fields. None fields. Put this back here. Title. Okay, that worked. Director. There we go. Now, how do we get the inline stuff working then? Do I have to like register it? They certainly didn't seem to have to.
They do choice. Choice in line, questions. They do question, question admin. Which goes there, which goes the choice. Plural. Oh. Vector has no foreign key to movie database actor. Ah, oh, crap. Actor has no foreign key to thing. So yeah, so I guess it depends on which way you're doing the the run. But a movie has actors. An actor doesn't have movies. So did I do that backwards? Yeah, I think I did that backwards. Well. Hmm. Yeah, because what you'd want to be able to do is well, how do we do directors no we didn't set up the keys yet no oh, yeah we did foreign key so is the foreign key which way is which way is a one to many wait a minute yeah, these are many to many. So how do we get Okay. Many to many feel the vertical thing. Okay, cool. How do we do this? Classes. Fields. Field options. Model admin, filter horizontal. Filter vertical on this page. Oh, it's just literally right there. I got it. Adding a mini mini to the list will instead use a nifty JavaScript filter interface to the law searching. Cool. How do we do that? Uh, form field overrides. Models, text field, widget. If you want to use a custom widget with a relation field, i.e. foreign key or many minute field, make sure you haven't included the field's name, the raw field. Blah, blah, blah. See inline admin objects below. Get form set with inlines. List display. Django ad uh, Django admin use many to many vertical. But only model name is different. Filter horizontal. Okay. I consult with the auth admin panel for groups permissions. Try something like blah blah blah. blah. 
Super form these. That's a lot. Must be a many to many field. So cool. I've got a many to many field. that gonna do bring out a tab spaces here filter horizontal must be a list or a tuple okay we can make you one of those which is not an attribute of movie database stop movie. What? Actors, 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 plurals. Uh oh, look at that. Movies, Queen's Gambit. There it is. Oh, that's pretty slick. That's really pretty slick. We don't need that. A N G O many to many. Admin page display. So this is the admin dot pi. This is movie database admin of pi. For this set of models. Yeah, this is a much better way to do this stuff. Um, I can actually, I'm not digging these headphones. They're a little too on me right now. Uh, and I just, so my other headphones died, but I realized I've got some other ones, but it doesn't have the plug that I can plug into the windows. Ah, no, I can't monitor the sound stuff. Oh, whatever. This will be fine. I got more coming. It's been a whole $9 on them. Okay, so that's cool. So that's got that.
and then directors. So actually, let me see what's in movies. Movies, yeah, it's cool. Directors, actors, directors. Has that been over on the side this whole time? Sorry about that. So now, how do you see... the movies that a director has. We're gonna start a fresh thing here. It's not really a music site anymore, is it? I mean, I guess it still is kind of everything, but... Um, directors. Alan Scott. So, class director advent, director advent, admin, model admin. This display equal. Uh, it's already. I'm not actually doing anything with this yet. Let's see what happens if you just do that. Don't actually do anything with it. It explodes. Model directory is already registered. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't, doesn't change anything if you just pass it straight through and you don't make any alterations. So now, how do you display... Django, admin, display, foreign key. Display foreign key value. I'm trying to display the foreign key value itself in the Jaguar admin, admin panel. You have to tell Django what to show representing objects category to string, for example, blah, 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 self category name. Okay, yeah. That's not really helpful at all. This is all people just stealing Stack Overflow, right? Question, I have a person, model has a foreign key relationship to book, which has a number of fields. I'm most concerned with author. In my person admin model, I want to display book.author using list display. I have a person, yeah, see this is exactly, it's just a rip from uh, You can do it looks like this. User admin, get author. Get author, oh, okay, so you can drop it in. Despite all the grandeurs above and due to me being new to Django, I was still stuck. Here's my explanation from a very new perspective. Models. Get name. Return object author name. 
get name. What? This doesn't make any sense. I want to show all the movies a director is in, or director has, right? But it's not. I'll show a list of foreign key reverse lookups. By default, a model admin only lets you manage the model itself, not related models. In order to edit a related unit model, you need to find an inline model, such as an admin tab of their inline or customer admin, for example. See, I don't really want to edit them. I just want to display them. I wish they would say why this was de deleted. All right, let's just see if we can at least get this to work. So, Customer, custom ad, oh, so inlines don't need to be called. Okay, so class, movie inline, admin, tabular inline, class, nope, model. Model? What am I doing? Model. Movie. So it wants the right name. What's that going to do? That's kind of cool. But if I don't want to edit them, I just want to like link to them. Don't edit foreign key. Cannot edit foreign key in Django. I'm gonna start doing a problem without my mistake. Django to bin add related objects doesn't appear in the pop-up window. Model creation for his keys, relations, and testing. This is kind of crazy. Marina Melee, alright. This is not going to be helpful. I mean, it's going to be helpful for different things, but not for this. Foreign key. 
A, self name, blah, blah, blah. List display. As you see for BA, I'm trying to display the actual idea of foreign keys. key ID and foreign key yeah. okay that was, I highlighted that Neat. I'm sure there's a way to do it. There has to be a way to do it. Because really, what would be cool... Well... Actually, I guess... Gump, director, Alan Scott's doing everything these days. Oh, I should have done with Alan Smithy. Ah, that would have been funny. Tom Hanks. Oh, that didn't do as good as so I wish it would. Ooh, whoops. What's the history? No, it doesn't actually tell you what the, or it doesn't show you the changes, it just says what changed. That's cool. Yeah, but I guess I don't need, I'm trying to think of what would be helpful to have here. But I mean, I think this is most of it. I mean, you could still do like the display stuff. out as its own thing. Yeah. I was just thinking if you could get... Well, and you can show movies here. It's just how do you show it... What's that gonna do? There you go. Inline, but not editable. Read only inline to Django Edmund. After all, I'm trying to find out and figure out this answer. So check the names at self to ops local fields and found the name of the middle table and added it to read only fields. Pretty simple to me off, so I figure out it's a good idea to add it here. Yes. That is how we do it if we like stuff. Look at that. What's the other type of inline?
boom. Add another movie. Oh, you can't add another movie there. Okay, that's fine. But that's cool. I don't know how to do... Didn't like that at all. There it goes. Oh, it gives you the whole thing. Yeah. So it gives you a little... Whatever on top of it, but that's fine. Queen's Gambit, the Queen's Gambit. Um, also, I wonder what... That's more the size of what that stuff would actually look like. Maybe not. Not over there. It'd be cool if you could link to it. But again, it's so like, now I'm trying to get to... Go link to or er, put read only link in, or read only text in admin. right now. Check out the VN line read only fields for how to do read only fields. I think maybe if they used a different font and link choice, like it, like it's just hard for me to process this stuff. JavaScript customizations in the admin. What I see here, reference guides contain technical reference APIs and other aspects of dangerous machinery. Application system check built in. It's weird that. Like these are all links, but some of them have are different links. Topic guides. Install Python. Oh yeah, I know what I want to do. I want to try and figure out how to get um So I wonder, this is probably... It's 
probably almost better than the tutorial. Migrations, managing files, testing in Django, user auth. Yeah, it's worth reading this whole thing. But first, so what I want to do is have two versions of the site running, right? So I'll have like my dev version and then the prod version and Ta-da, but they're both running on the same machine, but like I want the prod version to be running like it's prod stuff. So um, how to use Django configuration and starting the UWSGIS server for Django. How to use Django with Apache and mod WSGI. See, I've got the trick is I've got MAMP on here, which is Apache. Setting up a Django project with MAMP? Question mark. I guess working with MAMP has the advantage I can easily import export databases with MySQL. Oh, anyway, on Tanerix, answer here's how Django worked with MAMP MySQL database. Oh, yeah, so the database is up. Right, so I can use that for the database, and then I can use um, first in map. You need, uh, but I can give you some elements to put Django database with WAMP. So I think it may be the same manipulation. First in map, you need to create the database. Call it Project DB. Then every settings. Like this. Then, if you're using South, you shall write this. Hmm. I think it's from 2012. With map, started planning. It's harder. Wait. Really seems silly. I have map in parallel with all the other Code Igniter PHP databases. Code Igniter. I remember Code Igniter. It's what I'm expect. I get a painful series of steps to eventually have the whole thing working. Still needs to have a dedicated copy of my SQL installed to just to compile but it won't be used to run the actual server. Oh, uh, okay, I got it. Then also the latest MySQL. Assuming we have already Python script in place, create a new virtual environment. Install Django, it's called MySQL Python. Create a Django project and configure the settings. Cities a thing that's ser served with it, yeah, cool. Take executor, double check the host variable set to MySQL or MyAmps. Hence, da, da 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 da. In my case, it's not really happening frequently. I also had problems with my local. 
locale, whatever. Some of the programs I installed messed around with the environment. So I got the error, blah, blah, blah. That should be all. That's cool. Um, yeah, because I don't want to use a MySQL. I mean, I want to use a... But I could use a... SQLite database, I guess. But that's not the best way to do it, so... Uh, we won't do that. Twitter. Uh, plug. We'll add this to people. Uh, actually, what I should do is. Feeds. It was got one. Nope. Nope. Somewhere there's a hotkey that gets me. What's the hotkey? There's a hotkey that brings up my pinboard thing. There it is. Pricing calculator. Uh, all right, so let's try and set up Unicorn or whatever it's called. Green Unicorn. So we're just going to try it. So which Python? Yeah, so I'm up on a um, Pi ENV. All my shells are on Python. That Python version, whatever. They'll have to figure out how to get this to run. But whatever. Pip install. Shouldn't have been a dot there. When G Unicorn is installed, G Unicorn is available, it starts the process. Simple simplification is to pass the module blah, 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 which Django typically looks like this. This will start one process running one thread listening on that. It requires that your project be on the Python path. The simplest way to ensure this is to run this command from the same directory as manage pi. Okay, so sure. Uh, so to start with, let's close this one down so that we're not fighting. Uh, but it's gonna go, it's gonna freak out because it's as soon as I go into that directory, it's gonna be different. So we need to copy that out. I'm just gonna throw that to desktop for a minute. And then desktop. We're going to go into 01 music. And it picked up the virtual environment, so now it's gone again. RM01 music, because we need to get rid of this file so that when we go into that directory, it doesn't pick up the virtual environment. And now.
Burger failed to boot. I didn't think I was gonna work. It's gotta have a, the right file name. WSGI.py. Unknown suffix ignored. What? It's installed, a command is available, it starts the process. Simplest invocation is to pass the location of a module containing a. Uh, which for the typical Django project looks like this. That file does not exist. here and don't put the slash in there oh uh. all right let me get out of this let me get out of this let me get out of this make a new one and see if the commands there now dev nope desktop oh one music There it is. Just needed to come back in, reset. Oh, I could have done, I forget what the command is, the source itself. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be this. Nope. Like, there's not, of that file there. How to deploy with WSGI, okay. Django start deployment manager command sets up a minimal WSGI interface configured for you. Which you can tweak as needed for your project and direct any whatever. Django includes getting started documentation for the following servers. But when I click on this, it just gives me that, which does not work. Fail to find attribute application and config. Okay. None of those other ones would have it. Concept of deploying the application callable server. It's commonly provided as an object named Avicon in the Python module accessible server. Start project commands creates that.py file. Okay, yeah, we found that. That contains such an application callable. So you spell both that and production w drive. Okay. Why didn't it work? Web servers obtain. The application callable from their configuration. Django's built in server, namely run server command, reads it from WCI by default. It's set to project, which points the application callable and blah blah blah. What 
What's the difference between uh, server loads your application? Jagan needs to import settings module. That's where the entire application is defined. Fail to find application in config. No module found config WSGI. Oh, you know what? Let me actually do. For now on the desktop, make their server server pi env virtual env 3.9.0 bnv server junk one. PyNV local VENV server junk one. Pip install Django and Geo Django. Install G Unicorn. The hell's going on? Not manage that pie, right? Nope. Config. <sighs> Basic use and G1 op module. Example test app. Workers to test out. Django. Django will look for a WSGI called application if not specified. So your particular project invoking GDCorn will look like this. Now this requires that your project be on the Python path. The simplest way to ensure is run the command from, okay. There's manage. G unicorn failed to boot. Run G unicorn with preload so you can see see the error log like this. This should just give a more detailed error message. Not helpful. Previously before one through the WGS file was named with a extension, but now recent versions create an extension of this. 
Phytha is Y, must be a Phytha module. So the file should be loop, and the command should be that. I swear I didn't delete anything. Application, get W's, yeah. Do this. G unicorn config WSGI. Nope. Fail to find attribute WSGI and config. Unicorn Django failed to boot. See, this was in twenty nineteen. I feel like this is going to be ripping stack overflow. Manage. From this directory, manage by, all right, I run this file. You get the following error. Mm, go away. It's not a real person. Probably there's an issue, God. Okay, let's see what this actually does. G unicorn config WSGI.py or WSGI application. Well, that works. That's crap documentation. Uh oh. I broke something. What's going on there, huh? Okay, we at least got it going. Dango, run. Run. G unicorn. Command. Oops. The docs say this. Oh, static stuff isn't there. Uh, you got to figure out how to do static stuff too. That's why the formatting is all way over the place. Okay, that's gonna be tricky. I could just run it straight off of the like little local host thing running. Um, but I feel like, yeah, separation. Keep it up a little bit.
But really, you need to do this. Otherwise, you get errors like that. And I thought I gave me a different set of errors at one point. Oh yeah, if you just do, well you just do junk, well I guess it's still gives you the same thing. It all just ends up there. Yeah, I'm starting to put in more error messages so that I can search on error messages. Or so if somebody's searching, they hit an error message that they hit an error message when they see the stuff. That's the wrong one, I think. Yeah. What you really need to do is this. Where config is the name of the project used in Django Batman start project config. Django admin. Uh, Django admin start project. Just do that. I don't know, and so the other trick, right, is like, I don't know, I'm going to start messing with some React stuff here too, but like, and I've heard the Django REST API framework also pretty good for feeding that, but like, this is all local stuff for me, um, and I just want to get some stuff going, like, I want to have some checklists and some quote stuff, and like, some of this stuff is going to go into like the digital garden kind of thing, um, so it's really, really what I'm looking for is a content management system, um, and that's what this is, so... Okay, so that's working. Now, how do we do static files? It'll tell you how to do static file deployment. That's nice. Ten years ago. Oh, love it. Like, how is that... Like, I don't think I'm doing something that wrong. Like, I copied and pasted the command and I ran it. It was like, oh, it's not my project name. And I flipped it but like that WGSI file that doesn't exist like don't get me wrong documentation hard like all that stuff's hard I get it but like that's feels like a big mess I should go fi try and fix it um I recognize that but I have a no caffeine headache um Django static files. Website to only serve additional files to help you manage them. This page describes how to serve these static files. I guess that'd be one thing to look at. So what was the, yeah, so it's going to static admin, whatever. Website generally to serve static files. This page describes, make sure the, that's installed in static apps. Set your static apps to that. 
in templates, use static templates tag to build the URL for the given relative path using the configured static file storage. Huh? Sorry, static files under folder card statics under app. For example, blah, 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 blah. Serving the files. You also need to actually serve the static files. During development, this will be done automatically by run server and debug stuff to true. This message is grossly inefficient, probably insecure. See, deploying static files. See, this is the other thing that's kind of like, ah, oh, come on, Django. Run the collect static command when static files change, then arrange the collected static files directly in static root to be moved to a static file server and served. Depending on static file storage, you may need to move to a new location manually. The post process method, okay. A reduction setup will be different. You'll need to take the basics, blur a few things. Serving the site and your static files from the same server. Push your code up to deployment. On the server, push your code up to the deployment server. On the server, run click static to copy the files to the static root. Configure web server to serve files in static root under the URL static root. Static URL. Configure web server to serve the static files and static root. And I'll uh, please let somebody have solve this. I run Django project on GUnicorn on localhost. I installed an integrated GUnicorn when I run Python manage run GUnicorn. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Nowhere does it talk about that either. Of course, this was 2012, so who knows. When in development mode, and when you're using some of the, some other server for local development, when in production, you never ever put GUnicorn in front. Instead, use a server like Nginx, which dispatches requests to a pool of GUnicorn workers and also serves the static files. See here. You're using some other server for local development. Add this to urls.py. Trip static urls, static file url of patterns, rest of url comes here, url patterns. Uh, config. urls. See if this still works. Static files URL patterns. All right. Boy, that's slow as anything. What's going on down there?
just had to think for a minute, apparently. Also, last time it was giving me... Okay, there we go. So it doesn't show you everything, just, uh... Or it doesn't show you... Good things, just bad things. If that makes any sense. Oh, and actually, yeah, this will all be here because I copied over the director, or I copied over the thing. Okay, well, that's how you do it. I don't know what the giant difference is between running it via run server on G Unicorn is. Since I'm just running it on localhost. I guess I'll do G Unicorn. So I do like the separation of the thing. So, I, and I, I can probably put G Unicorn on a different path, right? Uh, port, not path. Specify a server socket to bind commonly used arguments, host port. Server sockets can be the host, host port, well, IP address or host. Can I just do like dash P 9000 or something? B bind. That's also supposed to be a B. There you go, nine thousand. That's so slow. Oh, is it looking for 127? It's actually looking for 127, right? Maybe. Try the favor icon. Ninety ninety nine. Something must something might have been hung on that port. Something different. I don't know if I actually had something around on port nine thousand or not. Actually I guess I can see. That's just, that's super weird. Um, but this is cool. Um, yeah, this is really cool. I like this. So I can set this up. Now I've got some stuff that I want to add in here. I can't think of any of it at the moment because um, I'm kind of brain fried. Uh, But yeah, I can start using this because like I've got, you know, whatever. I've got um stuff, basically. My checklists, my little uh I'll put my quotes in here. Um and what I want to do is like use this for management to deal with this stuff, and then Yeah, see there's a little bit of the back and forth there, right? So do I 
Because I'm almost always on the machine, or I have the machine available and I'm doing stuff. Yeah, but if I don't, I can just write it somewhere. I was like, if I hear a good quote and I'm not, and like, this is the interface to my quotes, do I want to publish this so that I can actually add quotes when I'm out in the world? But I'll just, I'll copy them down and then paste them into the thing later. Um, but yeah, the other thing I can do is I can like work through this and set up, like for my quotes, I can go through, I've got this big document of all my quotes um, in NVAlt. So I can go through and like parse it out and like throw it in here and then have it like do stuff. I don't know. Um, but like my, my checklists, um, other stuff, I don't really know. I just want to have this as a thing. Uh, so I've got an actual dynamic thing that I'll have to kind of build stuff on and just have a be this. This will be part of the, the digital garden thing that we get set up. Um, cool. So I like it. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this evening. I have really the tired because I did not have any caffeine today and that is making a difference. So cool. Y'all have a good one. Take care, be kind. We'll see you next time.